Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mark Thompson, and in this module, we're going to talk all about how you can improve your conversion rate on your Amazon sites. So there's a few quick things you can do to help improve click-through rates. Uh, the first thing is making sure that your product image is clickable with your affiliate link. Uh, we talked about this before, that people like to click on images. So you want to make sure that your image is clickable and has your affiliate link. Um, also make sure that you link to the products at least one or two times within the content itself. Uh, the reason that I do this is because a lot of people click links within text. They don't necessarily like to click on banners um, because people feel like they're being sold to when they see a banner. So people are much more likely to click um, an, uh, an image of the product or a contextual link. Um, you could also try using a buy now button. Uh, those work really well. Uh, you know, maybe next to the product image is where it's probably most appropriate. You can also try using multiple tracking IDs. Uh, this is something that Amazon allows, so you can track which links people are clicking and actually converting the best. So, you know, if you're if you want to do some more advanced kind of A/B testing or split testing, you can see which which tracking IDs are actually leading to conversions. Uh, and then also utilize the Amazon widgets. I mean, they're there for a reason. Uh, they're really easy to use. You just need to um, take that code uh, like I showed you and place it wherever you want on your site. And uh, those do a really good job of, of improving click-through rates. So here's a few examples of uh, some great linking. Uh, make sure you use call to actions. That's really important. You know, things like click here to get the lowest price on whatever the product name is. Or, you know, activate a 20% discount by clicking here and then provide the coupon code. Um, never worry about whatever the pain is, again, buy now. Uh, act now up to whatever percent off to, on Amazon right now. So you're, you're telling them what to do. You're, you, you're, you're enticing them to click on, on your link. Add reviews, uh, you know, just... Text, text links, you could, you could take it right from Amazon.com. Uh, I do that all the time, and I'll, I'll put it within the, within the blog post, and it just helps to build credibility. Um, there's some social proof there. Uh, you could also uh, create a link underneath the review and say, you know, for more reviews, click here, and it goes over to the affiliate product. You could try, like, a rating system, adding, like, stars. Uh, it just helps. It's something that's, that's visual. People can see a rating. Uh, you can make up your own rating if you want to, or just take it right from Amazon and uh, insert that graphic onto your blog post. It helps make it more appealing. Um, be aware of seasonality or, or demand spikes. So if, if uh, the products that you're promoting are uh, seasonal, you may want to do some paid advertising to help uh, when you know people are buying that product during that you know that three week or, or month window or whatever it may be, you may want to do some pay per click or other types of advertising to get people over to your affiliate site so then they they click on your link. Um, also, try to find coupon codes for the products. Uh, this doesn't necessarily have to be during uh, a certain season, but you know there's always the the vendors are always coming out with coupon codes. And um, now Amazon doesn't necessarily have coupon codes, but you may be able to sign up for uh, the affiliate program from a, another vendor um, or another affiliate program that does have coupon code. So just be on the lookout for that. Uh, conversion boosters in content, make sure that, again, you're adding high quality product images. Uh, the last thing people want to see is a blurred you know, version of, of the product. It doesn't really help make it tangible. Uh, if you're adding quality um, products and you have multiple angles of the product, it helps it to make it more tangible, even though they're looking at it online. Uh, like I said, add, po add positive reviews throughout your, each post. Uh, if you've used the product before, maybe do a video review of the product and, and put it within your blog post. Uh, add videos of how the product works. There's plenty of um, YouTube videos. You could probably just embed it right onto your site. You can also build an email list, so um, you know maybe have a little opt-in form somewhere that's prominent on your site, and then mail out to these people on shopping days like Cyber Monday, Black Friday. Uh, th this is when people are are obviously buying a lot. Um, one thing you have to be careful about, and I haven't mentioned this before, is you're not allowed to insert your Amazon affiliate links in an email. So they don't. It's against their terms of service, and if you do that and they catch you, they can 
they can terminate your account. So make sure that if you if you want to email someone that you link to a review on your website and then they'll click on your affiliate link and purchase. Okay. So those are just some quick uh, conversion boosters that I've used and that it's really helped. Uh, hopefully that uh, you can use some of these tactics on your site. Talk to you soon, guys.